Now, the second strategy, last week I said it, is infiltration. Infiltration. All right. Infiltration. After they have succeeded in enticing some people to compromise, they recruit them into their machinery. Now, these people are people of influence in the body. And the devil makes them taskmasters. Those who have been the most effective tools in the hand of the devil have been leaders and opinion leaders in the church. It's sad that the tools Satan enjoys using most and has succeeded in using against the church are leaders in the church. People that shape opinions in the church, preachers in the church. Do you know why? Because when the devil starts speaking from the pulpit, the, the members may not be, may not see. Can you discern Satan's voice from the pulpit? When I tell you you shall not die, is it evil? When Peter told Jesus you shall not die, he said, Satan, get thee behind me. He could discern Satan's voice from the pulpit. Peter was saying something good. To motivate him, you will not die. And yet, Jesus discerned that the root of that was the devil. So the highest form of deception is when the devil manages to speak for the pulpit. The voice, the, the, the voice, the voice behind the throne. And that's what he does. And so there are people in the church right now. I said the fifth column. The fifth column is uh, a military term the traitors in the in the enemy camp your people in the enemy camp who will betray the enemy so like if let's say we are fighting against another 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 country then my people will go as spies and then they will pretend that they are loyal to this other person to be giving me information and so this person i have they have he has four columns the fifth column my my fifth column is in his territory when the enemy, have you heard of Trojan horse before? Yes. Just like that. When the enemy succeeds in entering the church and he takes over the pulpit, it becomes a very dangerous thing. Yeah. There are leaders who compromised on the mountain and lost the lampstand, but they have not lost their influence. And whatever they say, we believe. And so they can lead us astray. They can just say anything and you will think it's on behalf of God. That's why we have to raise people who, who place the Bible above everything. And who will be able to ask questions. And say, you said this, but the Bible says that. How do you explain? And when you come to a point where your, 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 your pastor's words are more important than what is written in the Bible, know that it's a cult. And there are many, there are many cults, even in the church today. Like, and you can just say anything, nobody can question you. When you question, it's like, you are, you are not permitted to question. I don't understand what you are teaching me. Show me from the Bible what you are saying. Today, when people say things from the Bible, people want to counter. They don't quote scriptures. They insult them. It's not amazing. I've quoted a scripture and I'm saying something. You don't understand. What should you do? Quote a scripture. Say, oh, it's written here. It, it's called debate. Debate, dispute. It's allowed. Paul, Paul's ministry, he was arguing, always arguing, debating. You will go to the school of Tyrannus and then he will debate. Through the debate, debate is scripture against scripture. Let's take the scripture and let's trade scripture for scripture. Not insult. Now, the mismodi to have you heard it or didn't before? Those who provoke Israel to last after the things of the world for God to destroy them, they were called the mixed multitude. You know how they came when they were slaves in Israel, they gave birth, you know, some of them gave birth to Egyptian babies. These ones, they were neither pure Israelites, nor pure Egyptians. 
Go to Exodus 12, verse 38. When they were leaving Israel, these people also went with them. A mixed multitude went up with them also and flocks and heads a great cliff. Like Now, it says a mixed multitude went up with them also. Also. Now, go to Numbers 11, verse 4. You will see what these mixed multitude, what they did. Now, the mixed multitude who were among them yielded to intense craving. So the children of Israel also went again and said, Who will give us meat to eat? It was this mixed multitude who told them, When we were in Egypt, we were eating cucumber and leeks and garlic and onion. Now we are, we are just stuck with this manna. It was the mixed multitude who corrupted the entire people. And so there are people who have been corrupted by the system. Ha! Huh? And then what they do is that they will produce a template of corruption and they will raise people. These people are people who are influential. And because you can't question their results, you can also talk about what they do or what they say. Because what we are looking for they have it. You know, until we made the Bible our standard, we are going to be deceived. Which we deceived. 